Boys of the Most Toys coming at you again with something interesting, and this time it's Bludgeoned, the Pretender Bludgeoned. Uh, we've seen a lot of Bludgeons in the more recent past that usually have them as a tank mode. Well, this is because the little mini guy inside his Pretender shell is a little tank, and you can also put the turret on here to help as a weapon or a shield for the giant Pretender. This Pretender, of course, is pretty big. He is the size of most of our leader class figures at about 12 inches tall. Very articulated compared to the original toy. And uh, I finally got to use the pirate skull face from the pirate sets that I had lying around for years and years and years. So he's an undead kind of samurai. Um, and the gimmick, of course, is you pop him in half, the original toy, and inside, there's another robot inside, a little robot. In this case, we have a little green tank. So, as I said, lots of articulation, kind of two toys in one. Wasn't a big fan when I was a kid, never had any of them. I think I had some in my collection to resell, but I don't think I ever owned them as personally. Um, articulation, yes, he's nice um, samurai kind of armor and... Uh, a look to him, Undead Samurai, nice big sword, and of course that gun turret that can go on the internal robot mode. So the original, the gimmick was he split right in half. For me, we're just gonna split him. Oops, we're just gonna split him. This guy fits right perfectly, so it might take us a little work to get him out. Maybe. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, almost there, almost there, almost there. There we go, of course we're filming, it takes forever to get him out. Okay, so there is um, Bludgeoned in his little tank mode. So of course you can put the samurai chest back on and then you get two figures in one and then you want to pop off this tank turret. And you can put it on here, and then have a little tank. Can you see that? You have a little tank. Tell us, zoom in on the tank for you. And do the transformation on the tank. So the tank is a little, just a little green rectangle, basically. You can turn the turret because of the connection. And this can come off and become his own gun as well. So you have this nice little internal vehicle, and this large pretender shell which was kind of like how it worked in the original G1 except mine's nice and articulated so transformation pretty simple as all they were they're just a flip out so you want to go to the back and flip out the section like so to get legs and you're almost done already you want to flip out the sides and up the sides and up and then you can move the arms they are on ball joints, but are slightly restricted due to the transformation. Just want to clear. There we go. And there you go. So there's Bludgeon's mini internal robot. And you can't see his, him, all of him. Let's just back up a bit. There we go. As you can see, as someone mentioned while I was building him, he's pretty horrible. And yeah, he is, because he's just like two flips and you have an internal figure. If you want to put on a gun, sword, or whatever, you can pop off the purple turret, just like the original toy. Put it on, like this. There you go. So you can have the bludgeon little mini tank, and you can have the bludgeon large figure active at the same time, if you want. So yeah, that's that. And you can, if you want to get the turret out of the way, it's big and blocky, you could just put it back on his back. There you go. So there's Bludgeon. Let's just zoom right out for you guys. And there is Bludgeon, big Bludgeon and little Bludgeon. You can see the size. And here's a minifigure for comparison. So he's pretty big, Bludgeon, big Bludgeon, and little Bludgeon is about three minifigures tall. The big Bludgeon is, as I said, about 12 inches tall, or maybe, maybe even a little more with the horns on his samurai, undead samurai head. So as I said, this is something I wasn't planning on doing ever, but since we have time and I've been cranking out lots of isolation builds, here it is. It is Lego Transformers bludgeoned pretender shell and his internal robot.
So until next time, everyone, hope this is inspires to build your own crazy creations out of Lego. We'll talk to you soon, everyone. Happy building and take care.